I'm not your enemy. Show yourself. There's a war coming. A terrible war. There will be chaos. Rivers of blood in the streets. Don't ever come back to Gotham. I promise you, however dark and scary the world might be right now, there is light. All this happened because people were trying to hurt the people I care about. I will be here whenever you need me. That's what my parents used to tell me. When I know I'm able to protect the people I love, when Gotham needs me, I will return. It began a few weeks ago. Someone attacking the gangs downtown. I just couldn't give a description, but did mention a growling. Growling. Cobblepot gets out of Blackgate tomorrow. After 10 years. One theory is he's sending someone to put the fear of God into the underworld. You have Jim Gordon's role in your incarceration. Do you seek revenge? The best revenge against Jim Gordon will be a life spent serving the city I love. So this is Bruce's new Gotham. I like the old one. Selena, how wonderful to see you again. He doesn't get to come back after 10 years and act like nothing's happened. Where is he? I'm afraid travels abroad haven't increased in Master Bruce's respect for punctuality. GCPD! Show yourself. I'm not your enemy. What the hell is going on? I have to talk to Bruce Wayne. I did not spend 10 years in Blackgate to give my city to a man dressed like a bat! <laughs> Oswald. One more word. I will put a bullet in you here and now. I'm the Riddler. And tonight, Gotham will re-remember that. By blowing up this ding dong? Didn't you do that already? It's a callback. Turn around! Remember when we stood here, Jim, all those years ago? Our story is over. Really? Oh my god. Master Bruce sends his profound apologies. He's otherwise engaged. So what happens now? Evacuate the building. Get these people out of here. Why are we at your old club? Mommy just needs to get something. Oh, God, it's too late. Turn around. Grenade! I was waiting for him to come home. Holy mother. How's it going Gothamites? Welcome to a brand new trailer breakdown and dare I say it, this is, I believe, I don't think there's going to be another one, my last trailer breakdown for Gotham ever. So technically I've already done a trailer breakdown for the usual trailer that comes out for the following week's episode, uh, but as predicted there was a uh, hype trailer, as I like to put them, for the finale. Um, not as spoilery as what I thought it would be, but as usual I do want to give out a spoiler warning. Uh, I never usually do this, but you know, in just in case I uh, guess a few things right for the episode and uh, because you watched this video and in case I did guess it right and you're like, oh I feel like I've heard that before because Boba said it in this video, maybe you don't want to watch this video because I feel like I've got a good idea of some things that might happen but I could be wrong uh, but either way guys before we get into like the shot by shot esque breakdown because well I say shot by shot but I did uh, go over quite a bit of this footage in the previous trailer so it might be a bit quicker this time uh, I do want to say thank you so much uh, for your support all you Gothamites over the past two years believe it or not two two years and a bit of this channel it's been going since uh, November December of 2016 um, so I've only been covering Gotham since season three I don't want to make this too like cringy emotionally sad or anything like that but I just do want to say like uh, without you guys I'm uh, well you guys were my first audience on this channel I've expanded out a, a bit since then but uh, it really does mean a lot to me you guys have been a fantastic engaging community in my videos and in the comments section and you've always shown 
showing the most amazing support. So I do want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. Honestly, without getting too cringy, as as people will, uh, will sure I'm saying in the comment section down below, it does mean a lot to me. But this is the last trailer breakdown. It is the end of an era with Gotham, uh, you know, over next week. So I'm sure even though Gotham is over, you will find something on this channel to do with like Gotham or Batman, whether that's in the DCU universe, the movie side of things, uh, or, you know, the Elseworlds universe, like with the Joker movie. I know a lot of you guys are hardcore Gothamite slash, you know, Joker fans. So I will always have something like that for you on this channel. And then there's the TV shows, uh, like with the DC universe with Titans and stuff. I'm always going to have, what I'm trying to say is, is that I'll always have something up the Gothamites-esque street. So uh, stay subscribed to the channel. Um, and it, it, and if you don't, then uh, I guess goodbye and thank you for, for sticking around as, as long as you did. But as always, everyone, if you found yourself new here on this video out of all videos right at the end of a season, uh, why not subscribe for more comic book nerdy videos just like this and go ahead and like the video if you do go on to enjoy and join the discord server link to my server is in the description down below if you want to talk about any of these shows and nerdy things with me directly uh read the rules first there's a 10 minute wait time to like before you can talk i'm sure people will explain it to you when you're in there but let's get to this breakdown guys so as i said a second ago um this trailer wasn't too spoilery and i was very happy about that um, because, I mean, for me, I, I feel like I have pieced a lot together, and I guess they did show quite a few things as usual, but, like, I'm just saying they could have shown, I feel like, a lot more. They could have shown a lot more, uh, Joker slash J scenes, so that's something that I think I'm taking out of this. So, despite them showing a lot, they didn't show the stuff, you know, for example, like the Ace Chemicals episode, they basically showed everything Jeremiah did in there. Um, but, you know, uh, th th typically we got a recap at the beginning. Um, it was a bit more of like a feelsy recap because obviously this is the final hype trailer and the final, very, very final, final trailer for Gotham. Uh, so they wanted to show uh, the clips from season one, you know, Bruce's parents murdering Crime Alley, Penguin being shot off, um the end of the dock there of course that was a very monumental moment from that first episode with jim letting penguin go we see jeremiah valeska uh, falling to his death obviously we've seen we're seeing moments massive chapter checkpoints across gotham's history that have made uh you know uh, bruce the man well the man he's going to turn into or has turned into should i say in this 10 year time jump uh, and that's why it's called the beginning so as usual guys there is a lot for me to go over but at the same time i'll try and get through it as quick as i can but that you know me i usually talk for a little bit uh, about these things especially with all of this new footage we got so guys at the very beginning of this trailer we see jim talking about uh something that is cracking down on uh, the gangs in gotham now at first i honestly thought this had something to do with penguin but when i gave it an actual proper listen to uh, it says here on the newspaper the gotham star Gangs under siege, shadowy, shadowy figure cracks down on Gotham City uh, crime. You would have to think that this is the Batman, especially when they say uh, there's been reports of some kind of growling. It's basically Bruce's voice modulator. Uh, so that's my best guess. I think that's a safe guess uh, that some who's cr cracking down the criminals, none other than Bruce Wayne, um, who's arrived in Gotham basically, from what I'm gathering here, a couple of weeks early compared to Bruce Wayne's official appearance. So Bruce has arrived in Gotham a couple of weeks early uh, to like you know test the waters as batman run around stop crime uh but his official you know uh, appointment in town should we say for the wayne enterprises new building opening uh is in two weeks time or like in present day now uh but he's just been yeah he's just been testing out his gadgets testing out the beginning of batman um and that sounds pretty awesome i didn't actually expect that i thought bruce would be in gotham when wayne tower opens but i didn't actually think he'd be in town a couple weeks before being the batman already but jim also mentions that cobblepot has been been in Blackgate for the past 10 years and and the running theory is as to who's putting the fear in God in these criminals is that it's actually Penguin who's hired somebody to go out to the criminal underworld and yeah put the fear of God in them so I guess when Penguin gets out of Blackgate he can then like tread on everyone and be the new ruler of uh the the, the criminal underworld because he'll be the top dog who's already scared everyone else with his henchmen I guess that Jim is predicting this whole plan to be around but really what we know is that it's the Batman and Jim's just thinking that Penguin Penguins hired someone like him to do all of that scary stuff for when Penguin arrives. So um, it is actually true. I was, I was talking about this in my last trailer breakdown. So at the end of the last episode, even though we didn't see it, Jim did kind of stab uh, Penguin and Riddler in the back, I guess. Not that he did and he didn't because they are criminals. I, they have a lot of stuff to pay for. So Jim was in the right in doing that by the law. But he could just argue that, oh, they helped save Gotham City. So surely they might 
have got some kind of leniency. And I guess you could say they may have, you know, got a lot more than 10 years. It seems, I'll just jump to it now, Riddler has spent time in Arkham. And you might be saying, why wasn't Riddler in uh, Blackgate with Penguin? Well, it seems that he's in Arkham just by what we see later on in the trailer. We see uh, Nigma with very long hair here, looking very unhinged, and in an Arkham uh, kind of jumpsuit, just like it, very identical to what we see Jeremiah, or should I say Jay wearing in this trailer, and we know Jay's in Arkham. So why did they go in different places? I guess because... Maybe Penguin has it a bit more together and, and just goes to Blackgate because he's definitely more mentally sound, I would say, than Enigma with his, uh, you know, sp uh, split personalities and stuff like that, I'm guessing. So Oswald just needed to spend some time in Blackgate, whereas Riddler, I guess, was deemed maybe mentally unstable and just went to Arkham um, and, I guess, escaped somehow or another. But we'll get onto that a little bit later. But I have to say, I love Oswald Cobblepot's design in the 10-year time jump. I know some people saying he could look a lot fatter. I agree, but he's definitely overweight. You can tell by the puffy chest there with the buttons barely staying together as if they're about to pop. Um, he's got the top hat on. He's got his monocle. And I just love that line that penguin says to the report saying you know the best revenge against jim gordon is best spent serving the city uh the city i love or something basically indicating that for the rest of my days i'm going to be the penguin the criminal penguin in gotham and that is and i'm going to do it the best way i know and and the best way i can get my revenge on jim is by being a pain in his ass for the rest of his career. The next few scenes are really cool because we see the party going on with the kind of building uh, plan for uh, Bruce's new Gotham, I guess you could say, with the Wayne Tower being the central figure building. Um, but we get our first meeting, and I'm guessing it's the first meeting between Alfred and Selina in the 10-year time jump, just by, like, Alfred turning around, shocked to see who it is, and he's just like, Selina. Um, but technically, you could argue this might not be their first time meeting in a while um, because, you know, they've both stayed behind in Gotham, so they may have bumped into each other but like you could argue that selena just distanced herself from alfred after being hurt by bruce and maybe they might have seen each other across the years but it's probably been months and months and months if not a couple of years who knows because selena's been up to her own thing um as you can see in the next clip she's very much so catwoman she she literally is the catwoman before bruce i guess uh, gets that relationship with catwoman and tries to stop her from doing stuff like this stealing jewels in the episode as much as she does but even though we can't see much much of the suit here it does look really really awesome and i can't wait to get a good shot of it uh, but as i said we've already been over these scenes in my other trailer breakdown so click down the cards above if you did miss it because i'll probably go over like with both trailers combined a bit more in depth uh than some of the scenes you even see in this one um but i do find it interesting how selena's just like oh bruce just can't come back to gotham and just pretend like nothing's happened obviously she was very wounded at the end of uh season well five episode 11 and Bruce literally just goes away for 10 years. I guess he's had no contact with Selena. Literally no contact with anyone but Alfred. So she's very pissed off. There's going to be hell to pay in this episode between Bruce uh, and Selena. Now, since we know um, Selena has been recast as Lily Simmons here, I think she looks fantastic. I really do think it's a good casting choice uh, or recasting choice, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we won't see David Mazous, as I keep saying. I keep getting a lot of questions about this, but I do mention it in every video. You will see these two talk together. Um, but Bruce will, I guess, be blurry in the Batman suit. Uh, and you'll hear, like, the Bruce Wayne... Uh, voice modulator like we do here in this trailer a couple of times with David Mazus's voice but it would just be robotic slash growly slash voice modulated um, so you would just assume that the guy in the Batman suit is going to be David Mazus's Bruce Wayne but really it's just going to be a six foot four standing guy until we do see that shot with David Mazus on the Batman but that will be at some point in the episode because they're going to like CGI that onto the guy's face with you know the black dots that they use motion capture for. Now speaking of David Mazzucci's uh, voice modulated Batman voice, if you will. Uh, that is what we see in the very next scenes in the trailer. As I said, I've already been over this in my other video, uh, but basically Jim is just, you know, it's their first proper meeting, I'm guessing. Uh, Batman throws a uh, smoke grenade and jumps out the window, and Jim's just like, who the hell is this guy? But really, I, I quite like, I feel like this spelling out to the audience here, something that we all kind of wanted, because the way Gotham have manufactured their show was in such a way that there's no way that this Jim Gordon will not realize that Bruce Wayne is the Batman. And that is why, when he's looking out the window here that batman literally broke through the glass of he's just like 
I need to find Bruce Wayne. He knows who it is. They're just going to play dumb. Very, very, very dumb. Or Jim and Harvey are. Maybe Harvey will be dumb about it. But, like, Alfred and Jim would just be like, you know, our friend. How's our friend doing? And and when there's conversations between Bruce and, and Jim in this, you know, future that will never exist on TV, they will be having that conversation and, like, Bruce will be talking in the third person about the Batman. But really, it's him and Jim will know full well. So it's that kind of vibe. And I like it. I like it. Now, the scenes directly after this, since we've already been introduced to the Batman before and other scenes of Jim and Batman are of Batman uh, engulfing Oswald and Nigma. Now, he first lands on the car like we saw in the other trailer. They're screaming their hearts out. Uh, the driver gets knocked out and we see the cape engulf like the whole window screen of the car. And then we see Bruce, or should I say Batman, take off from the edge. And essentially, then we see, you may recognize this scene from behind the scenes photos a few months back. Um, obviously, there was no actual Batman in, in the film of this uh, but we now see the CGI implementation of that cape just like flap over the camera angle um, as Oswald and Ed are screaming out of their minds so this is when uh, you know Batman I guess has his first run in with the proper Riddler and the proper Penguin and little do that I guess does everyone know um, that forever this is going to be a dance that they keep playing between Batman and his rogues gallery but I honestly think guys one of the most perfect lines in the whole show by probably the most perfect actor in the whole show Robin Lord Taylor has been said in this trailer and that is when uh Nigma and Oswald seem to be in a transport van probably back to Blackgate or Arkham or somewhere like that and the line he says is that I did not just spend 10 years uh in Blackgate to give this city to somebody dressed like a bat and the way you know Oswald, Oswald did it in such a typical screaming penguin kind of way perfect right out of a comic book this guy Oswald Cobblepot aka Robin Lord Taylor is as I keep saying on my top 10 villains list I did a year or two ago maybe a year ago he is the top one because he's just the, one of the best things about this show and that line I can't wait to see it in the moment itself so I'm guessing after this they're either going to be delivered to Blackgate again or they might try and break out again and Bruce might try and get him again but we're gonna have to wait and see how this ends up because I'm guessing that this is after the limo after they've been you know tagged up by the grapple hook and all of that good stuff now here we finally get footage of like a coherent jeremiah who isn't so brain dead now all we do see is that he's giggling as the, the lights are like going up and down um and we see the other shot we got from the previous trailer of when he grabs echo um i'm guessing you know she's just got to transport him out of there this uh, trailer then proceeds to go on to the same footage of selena breaking in to get that diamond uh and we see that she's taking her helmet off i don't know why you do that dna in the crime scene selena come on Freaking one of your hairs will drop on the floor, but whatever. No, really, that is such a cool shot. Love the gloves. Love the cat woman suit that we can barely see, but with her long, gorgeous curly hair. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to see more of that, um, you know, cat woman suit when in, in a better shot, I guess. But here we see Oswald holding Jim to gunpoint. And if you're wondering why he's so furious at Jim and why he's, like, walking him to the end of the dock in this trailer, well, that's because Jim... Put him in Blackgate for the past 10 years. Like, literally since the last episode of Gotham, this man has been serving time in Blackgate until this episode. So that must suck, and Oswald is furious. That's why we see him in more f uh, footage of the trailer walk him up to the dock, uh, to the edge of the dock, to push him over the edge, just like Jim had to do. Uh, to Oswald in uh, episode one of season one. Now, the trailer also basically gives away the Riddler's whole plan for the episode. Uh, of, now, I've said this before, by the way, the suit looks amazing. I love it. The green, the tie, the question mark on the tie, everything is great. Uh, but essentially, we see Barbara talking to Riddler here, Mayor Aubrey James. We can now tell what his role is in the episode. Um, the trailer gives us a quick flashback to Riddler. It looks in Arkham, as we spoke about earlier. Then it go goes back to the party scene where everyone gets on the floor, and you see that Mayor Aubrey James here is wired up with a load of uh, explosives, I guess. So yeah, a pretty basic plan by Riddler. I think as teased in episode 11, he wants to bring the theatrical Riddler back, not just a common criminal. So he's going to do something like blow the mayor up or something like that. Um, but as we see in previous uh, clips in this trailer, as I always say, they're kind of out of different parts of the episode. Uh, it looks like him and Oswald will get caught by Batman eventually, maybe after this, probably after this. Uh, but either way, I'm looking forward to seeing more of the Riddler's theatrics 
in this episode. So here we see Francesca Ruth Dodson as Echo uh, looking absolutely infatuated with a certain someone when she's saying, really? Um, now, if you pair this together with the clips of the previous trailer, it looks like they're in the Sirens bar. She's there with Barbara. Looks like Jay is involved because we see him in a couple of seconds in the trailer. Um, so you can just guess that she's talking to Mr. Jay himself, probably in his full get up by this point, you know, with the, with the, the whole suit that we saw in the official promo pics. Um, but very looking forward to seeing, you know, Jay, who's basically one tier away from being the Joker and uh, Echo here as his Harley-esque Quinn in the final episode. It's going to really feel so complete with every character being basically their fully fledged selves. Uh, there's a couple more scenes that I went over in my other trailer, so I'm just going to skip past those to the point where we also saw Alfred in the previous trailer, but here we see Alfred just making up excuses for why Bruce couldn't attend uh, the bat signal, even though there's no bat emblem on it. It's, I guess, the proto-bat signal still. Uh, and it kind of makes sense in the sense of Batman's only just come to town so if they don't do the bat emblem on the signal guys don't riot just because how would they make that up when the batman hasn't even been in the city from i guess he's been there for a couple of weeks but there's been no relationship between him and jim gordon until this episode uh so you know for two weeks bruce has only just come into contact with jim even though jim's probably got the impression that this guy is helping at this point in the show two weeks in it's not like he would have got this symbol just made like that at the factory, all, all done up, just like that slap on the bat signal. So I'm not going to be mega hard on that if they don't show the symbol just for that reason. It makes logical sense. Uh, but either way, awesome seeing Alfred saying, oh yeah, Bruce has just got some uh, other things he had to do, you know. A very typical Batman thing, but the next shot shows Selina in the cat suit, I believe, but just without the freaking helmet on. Uh, and I believe the person in the background there with the little shine on the side of the cloak is Batman himself. Um, and that's why it's, she's saying, so where do we go from here? It's going to be that moment in the episode, I think, where these two finally talk. But the crazy thing about it is that they're going to be in their costumes. Like, Bruce is going to be the Batman. Selina Carl would have, I guess she's wearing her uh, Catwoman get up because she's just stole a diamond or something. Uh, so cannot wait to see these two as their future characters together. Now, as usual, guys, at the end of the trailer, there's a bunch of fast clips to go over. So I'm just going to go over them quickly. We see that Jim has told everyone at the Wayne Enterprises opening that there's loads of explosives under the table that the buildings are on. Uh, still done by the Riddler. We see baby Papa Gordon here. He's not a baby anymore but 10 year old Barbara Gordon asking why they're at the Sirens old club and then Barbara's just you know saying she has to get something that's the gun we see her grabbing from the previous trailer uh, we see Harvey freaking out here about Jeremiah Valeska coming back we saw uh, following this very clip here he, he grabs Jim saying don't say it don't say his name as if the guy is Voldemort himself awesome shot of the Riddler suit here uh, with a GCPD member uh, no context to this scene at all uh, we see Bruce throw the bat freaking smoke grenade uh, Jim's like grenade get on the ground, but I, I guess he doesn't realize it's a smoke grenade and it's not gonna hurt anyone I don't know maybe but it's not like he's run into the Batman before so he doesn't know who this guy is if he can trust him yet And of course he doesn't know I guess at this point that it's Bruce Wayne um, But I'm as I said, I really hope they do make that obvious but at the end of the trailer We finally see a bit more footage from Jay, but I'm glad they didn't show as much as what I thought they were going to uh, Because that would spoil a lot of things for fans because a lot of fans are looking forward to this the most um, and he says I was waiting waiting for him to come home. So that makes my theories go wild right now. It's just like, was he brain dead the whole time if he was just waiting for Bruce to come home? But that is also a very, as I said, Dark Knight Returns-esque thing. Like, he, he almost is brain dead and catatonic if there is no purpose, no Batman here. So for, for this iteration of things in the Batman mythos, uh, or non-traditionalist S. Cannon is that uh, Jeremiah didn't see any point in basically his brain functioning much until Bruce Wayne returned back to Gotham. But he's got to return back to Gotham in the way that Jeremiah has been itching for, it, for him to return to Gotham to happen in what Rachel Gould teased him with, that he would become this Dark Knight. And Jay, or should I say Jeremiah at the time, wanted this uh, dream or, or, or should I say vision to come true for Raish because he was very excited for it. So when that Batarang goes for his hand, like we see at the end of this trailer, he is not only happy that Bruce Wayne is home, but he's ecstatic that he's home as the Batman. And yes, I think that does mean that I'm saying that I think that Jay knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman. It's just too obvious. Now, that isn't like a massively odd thing. Um, it is and it isn't actually. Um, but I would love to know what you think of that, guys. Do you think that Jay knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman? I think he does. I think it's fairly obvious. Uh, the next few scenes, as I mentioned, a lot of fast clips. We see that Jay sneaks up behind 
Barbara at the Sirens Bar. We knew he was there from what we spoke about earlier. When we saw that clip of uh, Echo saying, really, to Jay. Um, so this is going to be very interesting to see what Jay does. It's very creepy creeping up on Barbara there. We see a bit more of the Catwoman suit here, I guess, from behind. Uh, with Selena standing on the rooftop and I guess she's turning around to look at Bruce in his Batman armor and here we see B uh, Batman himself jumping between rooftops uh, and Harvey just saying like holy crap like who is that dude like well, what is going on and of course the end of the trailer just shows uh, Jeremiah with um, the Batarang through his hand um, and that is generally the trailer guys so I know this was another fli flipping long video uh, but you know this is the last one that's gonna ever I guess happen uh, a lot to talk about a lot to be excited about since you know this is finally in the Batman world 10 years later so let me know what you're most excited about down in the comments below uh, do you agree with any of my theories or ideas is about the episode uh if not let me know what you disagreed with or uh, just expand upon what i said down in the comments below i would love to see your comments i do read every single one just can't get back to every single one but if you do find yourself wanting to say a little bit more and talk with me directly even join the discord server link is in the description along with my other links to patreon where you can support the channel a bit further uh twitter facebook and everything like that and my merch store if you want to check that out and maybe grab yourself some merch which would be really greatly appreciated and thank you for the support for the channel uh but that is just about everything guys so as, as i said at the beginning thank you so much for supporting the channel for the past two and a bit years with gotham i really appreciate it as i said stay subscribed because there'll be other videos for you i'm sure to do with the dark knight and the joker himself in any iteration that they're doing in, with freaking dc comics these days um but that is it it just feels so weird ending this video i don't know how to end it it's it's weird. Do I, do I go now? Do I go now? But I'm just going to end it the way I always do, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you Gothamites in the next video. I was about to say, is there a next video? Of course there is. There's the, there's the review this week for the final episode. And that will be my official last Gotham episode review. And this is my last trailer breakdown. So goodbye.